Well hello there, my name is Miss Jackson and today I'm going to give you a guided tour of my bird room. So I keep budgies, I have 152 currently in my bird room, um, 33 of which are babies and I will show you them later. So let's get to the tour. So this is the outside of my bird room. Um, as you can see, it is a fair size. Um, we've got out here, I will show you first, because it's easier than the other side. We've got uh, currently four outdoor aviaries that lead into indoor aviaries. Um, we've got one on the end, around the corner that way as well. This is our door, which is normally shut. Um, on nicer days like today, um, we only have the safety door open. Um, this allows better ventilation um, and also there's a, the humidity in this room is a bit too high. Um, so we've got an indoor catch to keep it locked so that if any birds got out, it's perfectly safe for them. Over here we have um, two currently empty aviaries. The top one is the baby aviaries, hence why it has like a thousand toys in it. And then underneath we have um, the kind of the sales aviary. So if I ever have any budgies that um, I do not want to keep, I can place in there and then people can come and buy them. Um, okay, so these, these are um, some of my um, nest boxes, my breeding cages. Um, so they are actually double. Uh, they have a partition in the middle that I can pull out and make bigger if I want to. But with the uh, budgies, these are quite large cages for them as it is. Um, you can see here three of them are actually empty and do not have any brooding cages in them. Um, but this one here has, this is my one of my little boys, he's called Lucifer. And so they have these nutrient blocks here. That helps give them any vitamins and minerals they need, especially when they're breeding. Um, and then they have clean seed down there and cut, access to cuttlefish as well. So, as you can see here, I keep notes on the outside of the boxes to remind myself. And on, in this box, currently we have four babies. Um, the youngest was born on the 28th of March, which was a few days ago. Um, so if we tap on the box to allow the hen to come out so she knows that I'm coming in and then I can lift up and look inside so this is a um, so here she has four little babies um, they range in ages a day and a half each as you can see when they're first born this one's actually starting to get um, it's little down feathers, it's a little fluff, and she, yes, um, but actually if we look at one of its younger siblings, this one here would be perfect, look at that, so you can see that budgies, unlike chicks, uh, chickens, actually are born um, pink, they're born no feathers, they have no feathers at all, um, this little fella you can see just starting to open his eyes, um, but they're born blind for the first few days, um, and then you can actually see just a little bit on this one that the feathers are starting to come through bit by bit um, and eventually they will become much fluffier like this one and then eventually hello darling you'll be able to see the color come through as they start to get their feathers um, so now something else that's quite cool so you see this one's got his eyes wide open now so something else you, I think is quite cool um, is actually their skin is transparent so as you can see here that's actually the food inside the, the budgies uh, what we call a crop which is basically where they store the food and then bit by bit over time that food will get um, broken down into their system um, so it's almost almost a bit like a tummy but not quite it's a, so a sack that holds it before the tummy and that's so you can see all its food inside, which is quite cool. So I'm going to put them back because this mummy doesn't like being away from them for too long, do you darling? No. So I'm going to show you one of my oldest babies. 
Um, this one is still in the nest box. The older ones of my babies are obviously in the Avery. Um, but this little fella here is still in with its parents. Um, as you can see, the feathers have started to now come through. But you can still see on its back there that it still has fluff um, as it's still quite young. Um, and its parents will still look after it. I mean, this little fella here is actually three weeks exactly today. Um, and its parents will look after it until it's around five weeks old. Um, it should leave the nest around the four week mark, although they all vary slightly. Um, and then it can start to feed itself um, on things such as um, millet sprays. Um, which are very easy for a baby to crack the seed open and feed itself. We have my desk and everything that goes on it. Um, we've got the cage, um, which can be used for any babies that need extra care that needs to go into the house. Um, we've got clean kitchen roll. It's amazing in this climate that I've got kitchen roll. Um, we've got their own microwave and their own fridge full of fresh goodies for them. Um, then up here we have a variety of, uh, this is called Himalayan salt. Um, so basically very good for the birds uh, to nibble on um, to replenish any salt issues that they've got. Um, these are the nutrient blocks that you saw on the cages, they just tie on with a wire. Um, got an range of toys, of course, and then we've got um, quite a few different variations of um, supplements. So actually, in here, believe it or not, is um, Kellogg's Frosties and Bran Flakes um, that gets crumbled up and then placed into a red, ready-made mix that I make up, which includes um, all of these extra supplements. So the garlic, there's a Thrive On, they've got some black minerals there, um, mint, seaweed, um, something called Top S, which is amazing to bring on chicks. Um, yeah, and they kind of have all of that into that mix there, and then that's put in bowls, um, mainly in the Avery, but the, the cages get a little bit as well. We have a lot more cages. So actually, cages all together, I actually have 24 cages all together. Um, so you've already seen the first six, then you've got these guys, and then hiding around here, there's a further six there as well. Um, as you can see, I've only got 12 currently in use due to the current climate. I've decided to cut back because they eat a lot of seed when they're breeding. Um, so these guys have got um, fertile eggs. In fact, I haven't even checked them yet today. So it will be interesting to see. No, it's still just the eggs. 18, we have my little boy, Bruce, and his girlfriend, Gracie. <laughs> there she is. And these guys do have babies. They have quite a few babies. Look at that. They're all like little pinkies. And this one actually is about three, two days old, I think it is. And look at that, it's well fed. And as you can see, it's still got its, just gently do that so I don't hurt it, it's still got its eyes closed. And it's so young, it hasn't even had a chance to open its eyes yet. We'll just place that back in. But its siblings are all keeping it nice and warm and snuggly in there. Here we have one of my personal favourite birds who's just run away. He's a very handsome boy, a bit loud but handsome. And his girlfriend's lovely as well. And they have got three very beautiful chicks. Look at these guys. So this little one here is going to look exactly like his daddy. So if I place them down here, I'll get this little one out for a minute. So this one's going to look so much like his daddy. That's his daddy up there. He's got the violet coming through as well. Violet colour on him, which is lovely. Lovely. He's a beautiful little thing. 
Okay, so down here we move on to the next part of my bird room. These are the main flight Averys. Um, as you can see, I have a range of, I've got one, two, three, and at the very end, I've got one that's tucked away, my number four Avery. Um, this is currently my pet sized birds, um, the ones that I generally sell as pets. Um, or keep just kind of as my own pets, sort of for fun. Um, try and get as many colours as possible going on with these guys. Hey boys! Um, as you see, uh, today is such a nice day, the whole door's open. Although on slightly chillier days, they do have, you can see on there, um, like a, a hatch that can open for them. Keep my boy Tex. Hey Tex! He's my darling. Absolutely love him, not by her favourite, honest. Um, he's a very pretty boy, look at that, bright blue, going all the way up to the white, that's a special variety called a Texas Clear Body, and I absolutely love them. Um, actually there, there's one of his daughters, look, there you go, there's his daughter, she's not quite got the same um, colour scheme as Tex, but that's fine, she's beautiful in her own right. Um, these are all my adult exhibition birds that I've uh, either bought or um, there's a, quite a few that I've bred myself in here now, like that big green boy there. Um, these are all my babies, or these are half of my babies actually, should I say, from this year. I just go inside here. They're all a bit flappy in the ovaries. So, as you see, because they're babies, they've got 10 tons of toys again. But, um, yeah, so these guys are my babies I've bred from December through to, well, now. Um, a couple of weeks ago was the last time I moved any into the aviary. Um, because of all the other babies in the nest box. We've also got a couple more outside, sitting outside, enjoying the sunshine. Hi, guys. I wonder what I'm doing in their aviary. Third point. So that's half of the babies. And then if we go down to this half, so I had a spare Avery, so I thought I might as well split them up. So you've got these guys all chilling out on here. There you go. They will fly off the second I come in. I think I'm going to catch them. So we've also got some down here. We've got a uh, little beanie who makes me giggle. She is what you call a French malt bird, um, which basically means is she, she, she hasn't got the feathers like the others have. But my goodness, she is quick to run. And she is full of attitude, that one. So, he's having a fly around. So, and we've got this guy here. He's lovely, he's good stumpy. As you can see, he's actually, he might be able to see from there, there you go. He's actually only got one leg. As a baby, he had an accident in the um, a, uh, in the nest box and sadly lost his other leg. But luckily, because he was so young, he was only a couple of weeks old at the time, he has adjusted beautifully to it. And as you can see, he can even hurt. Certainly doesn't affect his flying. Um, yeah, and he lives a happy, healthy life. And he stays happy, healthy life with me. And then out here is the other, got their bird bath there. So this is the biggest of the outdoor aviaries. Um, and you can see my garden. And we've got some of our budgies chilling out up here as well. I've got another perch down there. I've got a little swing up there. So that finishes our tour of my bird room. I hope you enjoyed looking around and hopefully you've learned a bit more about budgies today. Take care. Till the next time. Goodbye.